peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping into the channel. I know it has been a long, long pause. A sister had to take some time out to really implement some self-care. Uh, as you all know, I do not like to provide readings when I am growing through my own experiences. I am very mindful not to pump out readings because I don't want the messages to become blurred. Uh, I will during my time away that you all have been feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I am absolutely feeling revitalized, rejuvenated, and I am here to provide your messages. I am very thankful and grateful to uh, be ushering in this nine, you know, this ninth month, this month of September. This is earth energy, so it's really giving, you know, an energy of groundedness and completions and even, you know, coming into uh, those grand epiphanies, you know, self-discovery and and really owning, you know, who you are and which direction you are choosing to head in. So I'm definitely excited about, you know, this new month of September. It is ushering in our season of October and November for Scorpios, the latter part of October for Scorpios. The, the, that's myself. I am an October 30th baby. Um, and I know I have a couple of uh, solar return twins out there. So I definitely am uh, feeling just really good energy that uh, we're navigating right now. We're completing cycles, wrapping up cycles, and ushering in some really beautiful energy. Uh, I absolutely thank you all for tuning and tapping into the channel. Thank you for checking in on the sister. I really, truly appreciate those of you who sent emails inquiring on my well-being, my health, uh, calling and texting me, even those of you who can, uh, continued to book consultations and patronize my shop. I am truly honored, truly grateful for your kindness and just for your thoughtfulness. Thank you so much. All is blissed in my world. I cannot complain. And I extend that love back to each and every one of you infinitely. I welcome anyone that may be new to this platform. I have recently changed the name of my channel. I am still higher frequency all day long. Um, but I did feel the need to just revamp things. I'm, I'm feeling different energy. Uh, and, you know, I really wanted to come back stronger. So the name of the channel is now Claire Audient Truth Speaker. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the way that I read, I am an, a Claire Audient reader. I am an intuitive and I channel messages uh, through music. So the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, lyrics within the song uh, will all correlate to messages. I will be channeling intuitively as well as what comes out with the cards and it all blends very beautifully. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Uh, I would encourage each and every one of you to go to astrocafe.com and key in all the necessary information, including your time of birth, if you want to have an efficient natal chart. And you can learn, study, memorize your natal chart because that is truly a blueprint to who you are. It is truly uh, capturing where the placements of the planets, the sun and the moon was when you were born at your time of birth. And it really speaks a lot to who you are as a person, your characteristics and, and just the properties of you. So I would encourage everyone to do that. And as you 
learn your chart, you can start looking at some of those other placements to get a more clear and concise message for you. So eat the fish, spit out the bones. My readings are timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play, whether by the timestamp on the clock, the thumbnail, the title, that was all a matter of divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. So without further ado, we are going to proceed with the read. But before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, beloveds. Uh, Shay. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe yo. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I gave you all some extra love because I love y'all that much. It is currently, let's see what time it is on the clock. So we have 8.11, if you could see that, 8.11 p.m. Today is September 3rd. It is actually my Uncle Donnie's um, anniversary. It is his four year anniversary since he transitioned into the spirit realm. So it's been a very spiritual day for me. Um, I definitely felt compelled to do a reading. Uh, I took a beautiful nature walk and, um, it was about 11,000 steps, uh, which is about roughly, uh, four to five miles. Um, and during that walk, I found about five, uh, feathers, um, today. So, uh, beautiful energy. Um, and I like to show and prove for those of you that are not familiar with my channel, I, you will see me showing you my phone, several times uh, during the reading, whether to show you names and titles of songs or even the time stamp, you know, uh, the clock, uh, things of that nature, because I'm one of those people that like to show and prove. Here is my step. So actually it was 12,000 steps that I took today. Um, yeah, it was about 5.3 miles um, that I took. You could see today, 322 is when I snapped that picture. Uh, but here is the feathers. I took some uh, pictures of the feathers that I found. You could also see the date, I believe. You should be able to see the date. This was um, today, as you can see, it says today at 1058. Um, so you can see all those beautiful feathers that I found today. And if I blow it up, you could probably count it out. So these are all the beautiful feathers that I found during my nature walk. So some of you all may be finding feathers. Um, you know, with that time clock, uh, it is, what is it now? It's 8.13, so that's 9. So, you know, with that 8.11 that we initially saw, that's 10. So I was feeling wrapping up, you know, wrapping up cycles, karmic cycles, completions. Uh, something's coming full circle, whether that be you coming back to who you are, getting back to self, um, feeling very, you know, per standing perpendicular in your square, standing erect, um, really healing past wounds and traumas through growing through certain uh, experiences. So I feel there was a lot of karmic lessons you may have learned uh, in your past or uh, in certain relationships. They were designed to teach you uh, who you are, you know, to encourage you to be your authentic self. Uh, with this 813 that we just saw, that's 9-3, which is literally, you know, today's date. Um, so I'm definitely getting a feeling of a lot of introspection, a lot of reflection, a lot of self-analysis and ultimately growing, uh, becoming more self-aware. Um, 
because that is the number 12 and 12 is, you know, the hangman. So I am getting a sense of, you know, perhaps being in a sacrificial position uh, so that you can see things from a different perspective. Perhaps someone has a different perception of who you are. Uh, maybe someone was forced to see things in a different perspective uh, because maybe there was some closed mindedness or maybe just some some ignorance, maybe blind ignorance, uh, maybe someone was aloof, or maybe someone did not really see another person's value, or maybe someone didn't see value in a situation. Uh, so they were kind of flip flopped, they would kind of, you know, turned around, you know, uh, flipped to to see things from another angle. And I feel what that has encouraged, uh, that transition has encouraged self mastery growth, it's encouraged someone to see the beauty in something. Um, and it's also made someone realize, um, you know, the strength in change or the strength and courage required to sustain a certain situation. Maybe they're seeing the strength in you, your courage, your wise dome. Maybe they're seeing that, that, that you've taken, um, those necessary steps to, you know, kind of transform and evolve into that divine feminine because that three is associated with the empress even if you're masculine someone has seen the evolution of you or a spiritual awakening of sorts it's that clarity uh some of you all have also been kind of pondering on uh, a certain direction you'd like to take your life um and perhaps you had to take a pause to really think it through so I am getting a sense of, you know, whatever this new beginning is, whatever this transition is, um, you're powering ahead, uh, following your passions, following your dreams, just your aspirations and desires. You're going to be true to that. And I feel that's because that's what you've learned to do uh, in that former experience where you may have been a little more um, hush about your desires. Maybe you kind of, you know, your, your, uh, desires were kind of um, lying dormant. You weren't really answering that call, so to speak. But whatever has ended, it has sparked this, this new version of you. It has given you some new insight, foresight, um, and this vigor to go after what you want. Um, so that's a beautiful energy I'm picking up on. Just intuitively, uh, what we have playing right now is we have, let's see what's playing. So we have um, Tamiya, and this is called Leave It Smoking. Um, so I do feel like you're 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 like f leaving full steam ahead, you know, because when you leave something smoking, it's like you're you're dashing out of there, you're rushing out of a certain situation. Um, I just feel like there's there's speed, like you're you're hurriedly, you know, it's like you're hurrying along or you're leaving something abruptly. Um, whatever this is, it's like, it, it's, it's to me, it's exciting. Um, it doesn't feel, I don't feel fears attached to this. I feel that there's just this, this desire for change. Um, and as I said, that 10 of karmic cycles and completions, um, definitely opens up the door, uh, for new beginnings. So every ending does denote a new beginning. And I feel, uh, you're following your passions. I feel there's someone that also could be strongly physically attracted to you as well, passionate about you, feeling this desire, this fire, this synergy, this chemistry, um, this connectedness, perhaps spiritually, you know, uh, maybe even mentally, you may stimulate them. Uh, maybe there will be a lot of commonalities, similarities, or just someone who feels this, this, um, strong, uh, synergy chemistry. Um, maybe they feel like you're made in their likeness. There's a lot of, of, of little things that, um, make the connection seem more, uh, equally yoked, but, um, let's tap in and see what we have. So, um, all right, somebody is calling me and I cannot pick up the phone right now. All right, so we have um, Tamiya, Leave It Smoking. And as I said, we opened up the reading at 8, 11. So that breaks down to 10. 10 breaks down to 1. So, you know, maybe you're manifesting. You've, to come, you've come into the 
epiphany and look what we have on the bottom of the deck numerology this is 27 spiritual partnership so i do feel like there's a beautiful brand new beginning brand new start um and this is that connection i was just picking up of being equally yoked with another person spiritually mentally emotionally uh someone that stimulates you on many levels um this is a connection that i feel your angels and guides are aligning you with so you're not only aligning with someone that may be your person but i also feel like perhaps this is someone that you could also go into some sort of business together. Uh, there's support here. There's someone you could build with, someone you could build that legacy, someone that, that you have uh, this firm foundation with. And it can, you know, create a very structured um, environment for not only you, but for your children. So I'm feeling like there could be some sort of wish fulfillment or a blessing. And I feel it's because you've learned to love yourself. Um, the way that you treat yourself is how you teach other people how to treat you. So I do feel like you've walked away from relationships that were leaving you emotionally bankrupt. People that didn't appreciate you or value you or people who didn't show you the attention or give equally in a situation. Um, you've walked away from those relationships and you've instead learned to work on loving yourself enough to know um, your own worth and value. So now you're not settling. Uh, nine is giving me like the nine of cups. This 27 breaks down to nine. Um, that nine of cups is someone who is being selfish. They're loving them. You know, I call that my me, myself, and I energy, uh, that de la soul energy where you're loving you, yourself, and you. Um, and you're not putting anyone before you. You're not self-sabotaging. You're not overcompensating. And I feel this is what's making you feel fulfilled first and foremost. You have to pour into yourself. You have to fill your own cup before you expect anyone else to do that. No one can fill any voids. Um, that's when it becomes toxic. Uh, that's when it becomes codependent. And I feel you're in you know, um, you're instead attracting someone, uh, who's equally yoked with you, someone who's spiritual, someone who's grounded. Um, I definitely know that you keep, um, boundaries. You have boundaries. You have, um, I feel you have standards now, maybe standards that you didn't always have. So this is beautiful. What we have playing right now is Yay Yo by Erica Badu. Some of you all could be dealing with someone named Erica, um, some of you all definitely have gone through major transformation, enormous change, startling metamorphosis. Um, I'm absolutely seeing uh, someone could be from Texas. What we have on the split is 93, happy ending. And remember, today is 93. And we just saw 813, which was 93. So there is some sort of happy beginning um, or happy ending. Maybe your ending. Um, is ushering in something beautiful because this nine three is also reduces to three uh so that three of again of of you know just different perspectives sometimes changing your perspective your mindset on something can absolutely open up other possibilities because you're not closed-minded so i do feel like you know there's some sort of epiphany or there's some sort of illumination clarity that you are uh receive maybe there's someone that's coming toward you uh someone that you've manifested uh, that three is the Empress energy yet again. Uh, so I do feel someone, you know, that has been pondering or looking at you from a distance, from afar. Um, they see something they like, uh, especially with Ye Yo. Maybe they feel like you have a natural, you know, nurturing, uh, uh, you know, ability. Uh, you could be tender, loving, caring, um, very, you know, maternal, very paternal. Um, maybe you're very protective, grounded, very wise, a healer, um, just a very nurturing soul is what I'm getting, especially Scorpios. That's the energy uh, of a Scorpio, of a water sign is they're very emotionally intelligent, m emotionally um, available. And this is what is uh, ushering in this happy ending uh, is that you're attracting someone in your likeness, someone that feels you're that goddess, you know, uh, that empress, you know, that that divine feminine, that divine masculine, that God, that Lord, um, someone that has, you know, that ability to take charge, that ability to manifest their desires, that ability to co-create with source. Um, that's a creative energy, that divine feminine, divine masculine, they know the 
divinity. Their divinity is creation, is birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking, birthing babies. So you all could be in your bag creatively, um, artistically even. So this is a beautiful energy here. Some of you all could have just found out that you're pregnant. Some of you could be giving birth. Um, you know, very soon. So this card just wanted to jump out. That is a bonus message. So it says financial discipline, 48. This breaks down to 12, which is three yet again. So that three is giving me three of pentacles. I'm definitely feeling like a lot of you are really working on your finances, on really investing your funds, saving, paying off bills, paying off debts, um, really just kind of getting a blueprint together to try to get your credit scores, um, you know, boosted. Uh, I feel there's a collaborative um, effort uh, that someone is making, um, you know, maybe someone, some of you are really focused on a particular goal or on a particular, um, business, um, mindset or, you know, um, endeavor. And you're really just working very tediously around the clock, very determined and ambitious energy. But I also feel collaborations, partnerships, building and forming alliances. Um, this three is given like the three of pentacles. So I am getting a sense of like working together. I'm hearing teamwork makes the dream work. What we have here on the bottom of the deck is seven personal growth. That seven is associated with the chariot and traditional tarot. So I am feeling like your finances are growing. Things are moving forward. I feel there's balance that's going to be restored in terms of your finances as well. So maybe like you're really just like honing certain skills, mastering your craft, or maybe you're, you know, um, you know, just really like sharpening uh, your sword in a particular area. Maybe you're learning as much as you can, investigating, researching as much as you can on something that you're building. And that's what also helps with uh, the expansion of of that business as well. But I do see with personal growth, you've, you've learned to really trust your own gumption, your own intuition, and to use discernment uh, with everything that you do, with the decisions that you are making now it's not like you're allowing other people to influence your decisions you're going in within to seek those answers uh, because you know that's where the answers are found um, you are tapping into your higher self your Christ consciousness you're having consultation um, with your higher self um, and that's what's giving you the downloads those divine interventions from spirit uh, because you've learned to trust your intuition that seven is really also dealing with your crown chakra so there could be a lot of downloads divine interventions synchronicities you may be finding feathers as well you may be Claire audience as well. Um, you may be seeing angel numbers. You may be having certain dreams. Um, you may be having certain sensations. Uh, these are all means uh, to which how to which you know to how your angels, your guides, your spirit team will communicate with you. Perhaps some of you all have also been having um, some you know really strange encounters with certain animal totems. Um, we have uh, J Cole. And this is called false prophets. Someone's name could be Jay, last name Cole, uh, first, middle, or last. Um, there's definitely an element of like, you know, dealing with a lot of fake people, dealing with a lot of, you know, individuals who were deceptive or dishonest, um, people who spoke with a forked tongue. With false prophets, many of you could have, uh, you know, um, denounced a certain religion, or maybe you have, um, you know, just kind of like changed your spiritual belief systems. Uh, maybe you found out that, you know, a particular, uh, you know, um, religion you were following. Um, some of those, uh, some of those uh, traditions just didn't align with who you felt you were or who you felt you were evolving into. Uh, but I do feel a sense of like trickery uh, with false prophets. Someone could be from North Carolina as well. The seven, as I said, is showing that you've grown to trust your own intuition. Maybe that's what led you to, you know, taking a certain course of action. So let's get our messages. Let's go ahead. I want to just get a couple more shuffles and then we shall proceed with getting this message out. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages you have for my beloved Scorpio spirit? What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? You get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpio spirit. All right, so let's cut the deck. I feel good with that. Shuffle. And I cut my deck three times, three 
different directions. Bottom of the deck is going to be the overall energy. So we have this 37 time out. And so this is, you know, like I said, that 48 was a bonus message. And then we have the 37 time out. So this reduces to four now. So four is like, you know, you're really, really focusing um, on your coins. You're really focusing on your stability. You're focusing on your future, your legacy, um, you know, really just really um, kind of like not allowing yourself to get distracted, uh, you know, from what you are working on. I also get a sense of someone that you may have put on time out or someone that you may have uh, created some sort of boundaries with, or maybe there's a separation or there's no communication. Um, I feel that there's someone that's been holding on to you. Um, this is someone that definitely has um, you in mind. Maybe they're trying to manifest you back into their life. Uh, maybe there was some form of manipulation. There could have been a triangular situation in your past where someone was definitely playing the field. Um, someone that you thought you was building with and growing with. You may have felt like this person was kind of um, giving to multiple people, not just you, or maybe you didn't feel like there was equal give and take in a relationship. And so maybe that's what led to you kind of holding back um, and re-assessing um, a situation. Uh, but I am getting a sense of, you know, whatever whoever you put on time out or whatever situation you took a break from, uh, there is someone that has continued to hold on to you. Um, this is someone that definitely caused some sort of ending because tens are endings. So I do feel like there was some sort of painful ending. And I do feel like there was a domestic situation um, because, you know, the pentacles that that pentacle energy I was picking up on is someone that you have planted seeds and roots with. Um, this could even be someone that you worked with. Um, or someone you grew up around or someone you went to school with. There's history here. There's something, you know, that the two of you uh, have developed. There's some pre-existing um, relationship, if you will. And someone has really had, I feel, an epiphany about things that may have occurred in the past to the to the extent that they now feel um, your absence. You know, your absence is deafening. Um you know, the lack of communication is deafening. Uh, they're also, you know, um, really feeling discontent and bored without you in their life. And they're feeling like they've missed some sort of opportunity with you. Um, this could be a divine masculine because that four breaks down to, um, you know, uh, I mean that 48 three and this 37 one breaks down to four and that is the number of the emperor so there could be a divine masculine even if it's a fem feminine energy the divine masculine or divine feminine uh could be coming in towards you um to express love because that four is also dealing with the heart chakra so someone really has had to learn to love themselves um love is an inside job you cannot pour into anyone else's cup until your your cup is full and i feel like that's a lesson someone has had to learn um i'm definitely getting a sense of stability security building growing um and cultivating a relationship we have tony 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 whatever you want so someone is willing to come back and to your life to give you whatever you want. We have 91 surrender. So we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. So this is someone that is now prepared to express love, show love, give you love, um, and also be intentional with the love because now they're willing to give you whatever you want. Whereas in the past, they could have been holding back. They could have allowed pride to, you know, step in the way. They could have been very egotistical, very airheaded or stubborn or just kind of like conceited or because as I was saying, I felt someone had a lot of options. And sometimes when you have a lot of options, you could start feeling yourself, smelling yourself, and you think the sun rises and sets on you because you're getting a lot of attention, but all attention is in good attention. And I feel someone has learned that, you know, and what they've learned during this time apart from you, uh, during you, you know, being in separation with them is that they much rather have your attention, um, than to be in the doghouse. So with this 91 surrender, uh, this person is, you know, kind of like, you know, relinquishing the need to control things. Uh, I feel like they are willing to compromise, whereas in the past they could have been more controlling uh, because pride and ego is a false sense of strength. That's more of, you know, a mask, someone wearing a mask or someone putting on a facade to appear 
in a certain light, um, to appear a certain way. And it's not really strength. It's not really bold. It's not really, it's, it's just a farce, you know? And I feel like now someone is coming to the realization that they need to kind of surrender, uh, and relinquish the need to control how this situation unfolds. Um, perhaps they feel like they should express their love, um, or just communicate because with this four and this one, that reduces to five because 48 breaks down to 12. That's three 37 breaks down to one. Uh, I mean that 10, that's one. So that's four. And then this 91, that's 10, that's one. So altogether, this is five. So someone is ready to open up their throat chakra and emote, express, be vulnerable if, if necessary. But this is about expression. I also feel someone has matured because that five deals with the hierophant. So there's a sense of someone maturing, maturation, growing, um, learning from from past mistakes or learning from, you know, being left out in the cold or leaving you out in the cold and your response being, uh, you know, to establish those boundaries, to not reach out, to not communicate, to not put up with the nonsense. Uh, so this, this is really feeling like regret, you know, someone regretting the actions they've taken, someone, you know, feeling the sense of remorse, even perhaps for rejecting you. I feel ultimately whatever this circumstance was, um, you know, that rejection was for your protection because I feel you've also matured, you've grown, you found your voice, you're speaking up for yourself now. Um, and more importantly, you're standing your ground, you're standing in your power, owning your power, and you're uh, definitely saying how you feel. Um, with whatever you want, I do feel someone is going to uh, come back and, and really explain to you that, you know, they're willing, as I said, to, to, uh, show up for you, you know, whatever it is you want, they're willing to provide whatever it is you need. They're willing to give. So it's like this person is now more open. Whereas in the past, I feel they were a little more closed off. Um, Maybe there was a lot of competition because I'm also seeing the five of wands where there was a lot of chaotic energy. Um, and as I said, every all options, you know, a lot of options isn't always a good thing. You know, it could be very confusing because people can show you what they want to show you. Um, you know, everyone, when they first meet, you meet their, their representative and everything is always exciting in the very beginning in that honeymoon phase. But then when the mask starts to wear off, you start to see people for who they truly are. And I feel like that's what happened. Someone was very smug, very callous and very, you know, disrespectful in the way that they spoke to you. I'm hearing someone's tone was always like condescending, um, just kind of dismissive, um, just a very, very evasive. Um, energy I'm picking up on because I see the five of seven, uh, the five of swords part, pardon me. So there was like, you know, someone that was just very smug and, and just, you know, a know-it-all, you know, and that's why, you know, now they're like, you know, kind of surrendering. They're getting rid of, you know, this ego and this pride and, and this stubbornness and this hard headedness. And this like, they want to express something to you, but let's tap in. So who is this? Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So you got some cards that flew down here and it's on the bottom of the deck. We see that 27 spiritual partnership. Yes. Yet again. So I do feel whoever you're attracting to you is someone your angels and your guides are aligning you with. I feel that at this junction in your lives, Scorpio, you are no longer going to attract to you riffraff. I feel like you're vibrating so high that you're going to attract what you are, um, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, you're going to attract someone on your, on your frequency. And what did I say about someone being very proud and egotistical but that 10 is showing that someone's putting their pride to the side there's an ego depth of some sort so what we have is music so 32 music and what we have playing right now is Marvin Gaye someone's name could be Marvin I feel like you're going to make someone happy because that gay that's another way of saying you know someone's happy there could also be some of you who are in same-sex relationships but with this you know after the dance I do feel like maybe someone will come in and invite you out maybe to a lounge maybe to um you know a concert there could be you know some sort of um you know, energy where the two of you may enjoy music. You may enjoy listening to music, live bands. You may enjoy the same type of music. Someone, maybe one or both of you could be into um, music. Maybe you're artists, uh, singers, rappers. Um, maybe you play instruments. Maybe you are, uh, you know, a part of a band. Um, 
maybe you're a producer, a music producer, but whatever the case may be, you, you share this affinity, this love for music. Um, maybe the two of you will go somewhere and there will be some beautiful music playing and you both will share a dance. And perhaps after the dance, there will be a conversation that ensues. And this conversation um, could lead to some sort of, you know, commitment. It could be someone really expressing their feelings. Someone who may listen to music may give them certain ideas about how they want to approach you or how they wish to uh, spark this conversation. Um, someone may just invite you to a concert, invite you to your favorite artist's concert. Maybe you share the same artist, you know, you have the same favorite artist or, you know, music is, you know, like what I feel is a gel to the relationship. You may share the same type of um, affinity towards music, uh, but I also feel it was telling me to pay attention to that song. I feel someone is coming in that's going to, you know, make you happy because we did see that happy ending card. Uh, and with five and five, that breaks down to 10. So this can lead to a happily ever after because I'm seeing the 10 of cups, I'm seeing the 10 of pentacles. I'm definitely feeling legacy, uh, you know, having that happy spouse, happy house vibes, uh, happily ever after, uh, building that nucleus, building, you know, that family, that structure, that legacy, ultimately someone supportive. Um, I'm also getting, you know, that 10 is also showing me the one. Um, so I'm getting like someone's manifesting this. This could be you manifesting something. You also had domestic harmony. So that's another 10. So, so far you have 10, 10 here, uh, 10, 10. So not only are you wrapping up a cycle, um, completing a cycle. Like I said, in the beginning of the reading, I was feeling completions. I was feeling you on the precipice of a new start, something exciting coming in. Um, but I feel whoever you're attracting to you is also experiencing the same thing. This could be a soulmate connection, um, as well, where you are aligning with someone on your frequency because 10 and 10, um, that reduces to 22 is giving me, you know, that energy of you knowing, you know, you may know, uh, that something is coming in because you could be very intuitive, very psychic. As I said, you could be manifesting this or someone could be manifesting you. The two is associated with the uh, high priestess. So I do feel you have divine knowledge, divine wisdom. You have access to, you know, ancient knowledge and wisdom and omni standard. So something could be hidden. The two also is showing the two of cups. So you're aligning with someone that is is going to give to you equally. As I said, as you've healed and has had to um, heal and grow and learn from your past experience, I feel you're aligning with someone who's also done the same work. And that's why there is the spiritual union because you're attracting someone that is made in your likeness. Spirit is aligning you with someone uh, that definitely is going to speak your love language. Um, so that's beautiful. So let's tap in. So let's see how this person, uh, Scorpio's feel are attracting feel about Scorpios. So your messages came right out. We have 61 self-love. That's another seven. That seven is showing the chariot to me again, but this is also telling you to, you know, that you've learned to trust your own intuition and use discernment when it comes to matters of the heart, uh, to prioritize you, to love you. Look what you have underneath that. So you have this 26, um, which is love, uh, you know, love partnership. So spirit is saying like, you know, you now, uh, because you're trusting your intuition and you have love of self, uh, whatever love partnerships, whatever love unions, connections, uh, that you, um, you know, uh, come into, uh, you are going to be very cognizant of how you feel. You're going to do whatever feels right, sits right in your spirit. You're not going to allow anyone to talk you into anything because you will be quick to walk away from any relationship that makes you feel emotionally bankrupt because you have love for self. So you're more assertive now, um, because that's what you've had to learn from a former relationship that was toxic. So how someone feels about you is we have uh, personal growth, that seven. So they see you as very wise, very intuitive. They see you as someone that's very psychic, very spiritual, very mysterious. Um, they see you as someone that is very grounded as well, very assertive. You go after what you want. Um, you're well-learned. Um, you're educated. You could be someone who's also um, 
very much a go-getter you know this is someone that definitely thinks of you a lot they may dream of you also um this is someone that's definitely uh dreaming of you and, and daydreaming and perhaps admiring you from a distance um we have perseverance so this is four now so they do see you as perhaps that you know that one you know that one that got away because there could be this feeling of you know uh as i said discontent and boredom uh someone that feels like maybe they missed an opportunity uh perhaps this is someone that may have walked away uh may have mistreated you in the past that same person that would not let you go is seeing you as someone who's overcome certain obstacles uh overcome certain battles in your life and, you know, whatever confusion you may have been in, um, it's like you, they know that you're going to choose what's best for you. Uh, they also see that you are someone, um, you know, who trusts your own intuition. Uh, they see that you've received some sort of justice as well in a situation. You're getting your just due. This also is showing like the two of cups. So they do feel like this connection is uh, one that's equally yoked. Um, because I do feel like this person sees you as strong, resilient, you know, you're not compromising who you are for anyone. And that's attractive. We have four, four here. So you got four, four, four. So your angels are absolutely aligning you with your purpose, your person. They're definitely conspiring behind the scenes and they're protecting you. Some of you may be seeing four, four, four. You may be seeing, um, you know, five, 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 seven, seven, seven. Uh, but with this 44, this is someone I feel you're familiar with. This could be someone that you've worked with. This could be someone that you were in a relationship with. If this is someone from the past, but I'm definitely getting a sense of someone that's in your immediate environment. Um, this could be some, a coworker. This could be, as I said, someone that you could have been in a relationship previously. Um, I am seeing that you are working very, very, uh, tediously, very diligently towards some sort of goal and it's going to bring in uh, abundance you're going to flourish it's like whatever seeds that you've sowed in the past it is materializing abundance and prosperity um and it's you know if this is a business idea or something you're working on um it's like it's going to be very fruitful for you i see the seeds you've sowed uh you've tended to them you've watered them you know so if this is a skill you've been learning you've mastered it um you've sharpened that skill you've learned as much as you can and it's going to uh generate wealth you know um opulence for you i do see someone wanting to invest as well uh someone that wants to uh put in you know maybe this is someone that has learned in the past uh that you know not showing um how they truly feel could have, you know, literally worked against them. So now this time around, they want to be more intentional. Uh, so I am seeing someone willing to collaborate, someone willing to build that alliance or someone that wants to partner up, build that partnership with you uh, because they see your growth and it's almost like you've inspired, you've inspired someone, encouraged someone to take that leap, so to speak, because uh, I see six and four, there's someone very passionate about you because we have seven and then we have 44 which is eight and then we have that four that all breaks down to one um because seven and eight is 15 that's six six and four is ten so this is someone that definitely could see happy house happy spouse they could see that happily ever after they could see building nurturing and cultivating a relationship you know and really establishing a firm foundation with you having that legacy having that happy house with you you know um being supportive being a provider being a protector um definitely you know a very um successful and and happy relationship uh but i do feel there's a lot of passion this person desires you as they're attracted to you. Um, there's just this, this magnetic uh, pull, you know. Um, what we also have is 91 surrender. So that same person that was uh, here feeling, you know, oh, maybe I lost it. Oh, yeah, because I did move, uh, shuffle the cards again. But that same person, remember I showed you pride and that was 19. I feel like they're putting their pride to the side because this is how they feel about you. Is they're hoping that you surrender and open up to them because they do find you to be very guarded and rightfully so because you're now protecting yourself whether it's because of what they've done to you in the past if this is that person if this is someone that feels that you were very rigid in the past maybe they're you know wanting to open up more now because they see that you've been working on yourself or that you've kind of like 
humbled yourself or whatever the case may be i am feeling like someone just wants uh, another person to just like surrender and open up 43 43 was just on the time clock that's 7 7 that breaks down to 14 which is 5 so I am getting a sense of there is someone you know that hopes you're open to you know to what they may have to say because I am feeling like someone is wanting to uh, say something and get something off their chest that they may not have said um, to you in the past and this may be a shocker you know um this may be someone, as I said, that had difficulty, you know, expressing their feelings in the past, um, you know, or emoting or showing, um, you know, that, that, um, that vulnerable side of themselves. Um, temperance is about patience. That 14 that I just broke down um, is showing that there's patience that's necessary. Patience is always a form of action. So perhaps this person is really just, you know, again, just learning because uh, that's a studious energy. Five is, you know, the hierophant. So this is, you know, someone really like kind of learning, um, you know, how to, you uh, how to uh, not only express themselves, so maybe they are speaking to perhaps matriarchs, patriarchs in their family. Uh, maybe they're sitting at the feet of an elder, a pastor, a master teacher. Uh, maybe they were dealing with someone in the past that gave them misinformation or someone that kind of clouded their thoughts with you know false truths, falsities, because we had that false prophet. So maybe someone was seeking advice from someone that they thought was like uh, a pastor or a preacher or some master teacher and found out that whoever they was going to uh, for that advice or for that tutelage was actually a someone scamming someone that was you know um, misinformed um, so now it's like they're taking it back to the drawing board they're learning for themselves or that was a learn uh, a teachable moment for them uh, and that's why now someone is really trusting their own intuition but I do feel like they do want you to surrender there's a lot of attraction here so what we have in the bottom of the deck is the 26 love partnership so there is you know what's hidden is what we're about to pull so there is love partnerships that can be unfolding. Um, there is definitely someone I feel new love, um, true love I'm hearing um, in my mind's eye. So let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy? What we have playing right now is we have um, we have the SOS band and this is called Tell Me If You Still Care. So this sounds like a past life person. Um, not a past life, but just a past person. And this is Mercury retrograde. And there are seven planets in retrograde um, right now, including Mercury retrograde. So that's going to bring a lot of residual energy, past people, past circumstances. Ex experiences that you've already overcome are going to revisit you to ensure that you've learned the lesson. Lesson is going to repeat itself until it's learned. So you will be tested. Spirit will test you. This universe source will test you by bringing past people, by bringing circumstances that you felt you overcame in the past is going to show up again. So you just have to make sure that you stand your ground and stand perpendicular in your square and be authentic. Be, you know, act from a genuine place. Don't feel the need to appease and please. Don't feel like you can't tell people how you truly feel, even if it may hurt them. The truth always sets people free. The truth will set you free. It will set the other person free because you don't want to operate and navigate the world with falsities or with farcities so it's like you know be real be authentic um with this 14 i'm sorry 16 that's seven again rebirth so this is showing something's transforming there's a shift there is some sort of pivot that's necessary but this is also showing that there's been a change that's a brewing and with this change you are emerging changed with your thoughts, your ideologies, with your belief systems, with your habits, with who you are. It's like you're renewed. This rebirth is showing that there was a painful ending, something that felt like a death. And now it's kind of like giving you that opportunity to emerge uh, with a, 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 per, a, a different mindset. Um, so with tell me if you still care, SOS is like, um, that's like a message. It's like a message of emergency. So perhaps someone is really hoping um, that with this conversation or with this, um, with this, cause I feel like this is really a confession of how someone may feel. Um, I feel like they're really hoping that, you know, you feel the same way or that there's something that can be reconciled, um, with rebirth. I do feel there's definitely 
uh, change or transformation that has occurred in either you or this person or either, you know, maybe both, both of you. So let's see what's hidden in the energy, beloved. So we got a couple of messages. We got self-love here, which is number seven. So there's definitely this feeling of some of you all or whoever you're dealing with. There's self-love now. You know, self-love makes you more attractive. And self-love is also showing with 61, that's seven. That's showing that there is someone who's being more assertive, uh, someone who's definitely, um, you know, trusting their own intuition now, who's really prioritizing themselves. Um, this is someone that's definitely feeling more balanced even. Uh, that seven is the chariot, uh, and it's also associated with the crown chakra. So there's a lot of emotional equilibrium balance and this is a very attractive energy uh, because you're teaching other people how to treat you when you're in this energy you're going to attract people that's going to love you right that's going to speak your love language because you're implementing and showcasing that you have love of self and as I said love is an inside job so when you're loving yourself and you learn to love yourself first and foremost and prioritize you then you're showing other people that you know your worth you know your value and you're not willing to settle what we have here is 88 manifestation oh i'm sorry 88 abundance <laughs> um and it's 49 49 so that's eight on the clock um so that is definitely showing wish fulfillments and the blessings i feel you're going to be emotionally fulfilled financially fulfilled i'm hearing wish fulfillment i'm hearing answers to your prayers i'm hearing there's like some sort of wheel turning in your favor even uh when i see double numbers i always feel you're attracting someone in your likeness and this eight shows not only that there were karmic lessons and cycles that you were learning from and growing from but i also feel whoever you're attracting has also had to learn from karmic relationships i feel there's also this sense of like building your strength building your knowledge leaning more importantly in your strength, facing your fears, confronting those fears and learning that fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. And what you did was you faced everything and you rose. So this is really why you have this blessing of uh, prosperity or this promise of prosperity and abundance and success and expansion and opulence in your life. And it's because you've done the work. This 16 breaks down to seven. That's again, the chariot. So this is speeding in. This is coming in very quickly. I'm hearing abruptly, unexpectedly. Uh, these are wish fulfillments because the eight always gives me the energy of like the star. I feel you could be someone's wish fulfillment, someone's dream come true or vice versa. Or maybe you you both are that for one another. Um, we also have playing on the uh, playlist right now is we have loose ends. Uh, and this says um, hanging on a string. So whoever this is, maybe someone's tying up some loose ends. Maybe someone felt like, you know, they were kind of hanging on to a situation um, by a string. Like, you know, but now they're tying up those loose ends because now they're ready to come toward you. Maybe there was some level of you know, confusion, because I'm getting like the seven of swords for some reason. Um, I feel like someone was deceiving themselves. Uh, this is like self-imposed, um, you know, in mental anguish, confusion, um, you know, because maybe there were, um, as I said, these these illusions that someone could have been caught up in because of the pride, uh, because of the ego, uh, because of the karmic connections and situationships they were a part of so now there's this sense of like you know tying up those loose ends someone could be from england london um so let's tap in so divine spirit of peace power and protection i'm gonna complete my shuffle so we have three creativity so someone absolutely is be drawn to your beauty i'm here someone is drawn to your beauty um they see you as the mother look at this two sunny cards here Two sunny bright cards, two yellow cards. They're ready to express something. I feel like you know who this is because perhaps you may have manifested this. Um, there's definitely like some sort of communication telepathically or intuitively with another person or this is just someone who, you know, you just may live in this person's mind. You rent space in this person's mind. They're constantly thinking of you, constantly dreaming of you, constantly trying to plan and strategize how to come towards you, what to say. It's like rehearsing things. But this six is showing cerebral energy. Uh, but I do feel like something is going to end uh, positively. I feel that there's this 
this energy of like, you know, this empress or this masculine, if you're masculine uh, in that feminine energy, it's like there's this attraction, this pull, this magnetic pull. Six also is the lovers. So there is an element of your angels and your guides uh, aligning you with your person, uh, collaborating behind the scenes or conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into a union that's going to you know, lead to that, you know, happy ending, that happily ever after that I was speaking of earlier uh, with someone that is equally yoked. This could be like a past life love or it will feel that way when you meet this person because this six is really given like yin yang, soulmates. Uh, we did see that spiritual partnership several times. So I do feel there's a soul tie or some sort of soul connection with this person. Uh, what jumped out is we have the love card. So the six is again, the lovers. So this is someone, this could also be speaking to someone from your past. I feel someone really loves you and they think of you all the time. And maybe you already know this because you are highly intuitive. Um, but there is, I feel someone that is going to express love because this blue is the color of the throat chakra. And not only are they going to show you, um, or express to you how they feel, but they, I feel they're going to be very in, um, intentional with this love message as well. Someone's up in their head, agonizing, stressing, ruminating, overthinking. This is that energy of someone just like kind of it's self-imposed because it's like they have something they want to say, but there are fears associated with this. Uh, so it's like they just kind of live in their head and the devil, that's the devil's playground. Um, you know, whenever you just constantly up in your head, constantly thinking, overthinking it's like you you when you constantly live in your head doubt cr creeps in um negative self talk creeps in so it's like i feel that there's a need for someone to you know kind of come back down to reality and i also told you there was a wish fulfillment or someone that feels you are their wish fulfillment so they're coming towards you because this this 85 is 13 so whoever that person was that was you know working on themselves and transforming and going through some sort of startling metamorphosis whether this is you and the other person it's like there is this action that they're going to take um i do feel that this is someone that is feeling discontent and bored without you because that 85 breaks down to 13 and i feel like that discontent and boredom is what's causing or triggering this transformation this change uh where they are no longer willing to just sit and look at the same four walls or sit and want and desire you they're going to be more action oriented um so this eight and this 16 is 14 and that breaks down to five so i'm definitely getting a sense of you know now someone uh expressing something that they've been feeling um and taking action uh, to let you know that they love you. You know, this is someone that's definitely, you no, know, that's been holding on to you, holding on to this connection even. Um, and I do feel like they may, you know, think of some really creative ways uh, to, to come back into your life or to say to you how they feel. Um, as I said, with hanging on a string, loose ends, maybe that's what they're doing right now is just tying up loose ends uh, so that they could come towards you the right way, right and exact is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got from... Oh, sorry, Katara. Sorry, my friend. So what did I say? Look, what just, look what's on the bottom of the deck. We have express your love. So what did I say about someone coming in, willing, ready to emote now? Because this 71, 8, and the 6 is 5, you know? So that is saying someone is ready um, to express how they feel. Um, so whoever that person is, they're definitely ready to, you know, um, make some sort of romantic gesture. Uh, this is definitely someone who's pondered on the situation long enough. Um... Uh, we have my daughter's song, Lightmare, playing. So I feel like this person doesn't have nightmares. They have lightmares, uh, which means like during the daytime, as I said, they're constantly thinking of you. Um, and it's like the thought of losing you is what's, you know, triggering this action to reach out or this, this action to express something. Um, I feel like they know that they have to speak a truth, uh, no matter how difficult, because they cannot you know, stand the thought of perhaps losing you or, you know, missing out on the situation. They don't want to be that person singing their shoulda, coulda, wouldas because they already feel like they're left out in the cold. They already feel, um, you know, like you are, um, you know, at a distance or they feel this distance, 
you know so let's tap in so let's clarify these messages this is going to clarify so it says release your ex and it says this it's the time has come to clear your energy so someone could have been dealing with an ex someone could have been dealing with a situation where they were kind of juggling as i was picking up earlier where there could have been a third party circumstance or someone kind of juggling um two different people or you know kind of just spreading themselves uh thin and um it's because perhaps maybe they thought you know that this was something that they should have been working on while also trying to perhaps um hold on to you it's almost like someone's trying to get have their cake and eat it too uh, but I feel like, you know, the realization is that it's time to move on. It's time to walk away, especially if someone doesn't know how to treat you or value you. Um, especially if you have that epiphany that, you know, what you thought was, was a good thing. Um, you realize that it wasn't at all what you thought it was. And so with release your ex, if someone left you out in the cold or abandoned you, I feel like that's why there's a sense of guardedness. And I feel like you have absolutely, you know, kind of taken your power back to some degree. And that could be why, you know, someone is feeling, um, you know, out in the cold because you're not, you're not, you're not taking anyone back. I feel like that's why you're coming off very guarded, um, very protective of your energy, very focused on your stability because you're rebuilding after a tower. You're rebuilding after your life was completely uh, turned to shambles by some sort of third party or triangular situation. And that's why you took that necessary time out to reflect uh, to, you know, um, look back in awareness. Um, and that's also that energy of, you know, recovery. Um, that's given me the four of cups as well, where you're recovering and recuperating from, uh, disappointment. Uh, the four of swords is showing me that that's what you've taken the time out to do. And the epiphany that you've had that aha, um, is that, you know, it's time to release this X, uh, because, you know, you, you two are not, um, you're not uh, compatible. You don't want the same things. Um, and there's definitely, there was a lack of respect. What we see now is engagement here uh, on the bottom of the deck. Uh, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is uh, what we have here for um, on the bottom of the deck. And we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. And we have the Brother Johnson's I'll Be Good to You. So I do feel like whatever you're attracting to you, who or what you're attracting to you, it's someone that is going to be, you know, um, you know, fully committed to you and this connection. You know, this is someone that will put a ring on your finger. This is someone that will want to take the relationship to the next level. Uh, this is someone that's definitely sees, you know, happily ever after. Uh, with this one, the 46, uh, I was initially getting... Um, you know, someone that, you know, like the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups type of energy with domestic harmony, especially with the same, you know, uh, music and the song that's playing is Brother Johnson. You could be dealing with someone whose first name could be Johnson, first, middle or last. Um, but this six that I'm getting is, again, the lovers. It's also, um, you know, representative of unions, uh, partnerships, uh, coming togetherness. You know, uh, this could also be very indicative of you know someone from your past or someone that will make you feel that energy of nostalgia it, it, it's almost like you know um you know how you used to get giddy when you were young that teenage love you have that crush it's almost like that you know because i do feel like there's there's commitment here um someone is committed to you committed to this to this connection and i feel like with i'll be good to you this person is absolutely going to you know be very intentional with their actions they're coming in uh, intentionally to create, uh, you know, a safe space for you, um, where you don't have to question. And I'm getting also victories because that six that I'm getting from the 46 and the 32 is giving victories. It's giving breakthroughs. Um, it's giving, um, you know, celebratory energy to me. So I'm hearing victorious. Um, I'm hearing that there's going to be a victorious outcome. Uh, and wedding bells, I'm hearing wedding bells because that six of wands could also be like, you know, a wedding ceremony. So let's tap in. So why is 32 music, 46 domestic harmony here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you, spirit. And it says, let go of control issues. So that's a part of that pride and ego. Someone needing to, you know, have 
put the pride to the side, put the ego to the side or have that ego death so that they could take action because they're living up too much in their head. It's like, you know, this is an energy of someone who's like, you know, they know that they love you, but it's like they're stressing themselves out with, you know, how to do it, what to say, uh, when to come in. It's like they, they, they're too much in their head and, and they create these narratives, um, that aren't realistic. Um, and it's because they're trying to control the way things, uh, turn out and no, we're not in control. You know, uh, we have to just trust and be open and receptive to, you know, however spirit guides us, but it says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So when you're trying to control things, um, you know, then you can potentially, uh, you can kind of sabotage. So I feel like this person is self-sabotaging to some degree. And what we have here is healing family issues. And this is how this person, um, we're about to pull the energies for how this person feels about you. And what it says is your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So perhaps someone uh, feels that you may have been through a lot of familial traumas, uh, childhood traumas. Maybe they're familiar with your story. Um, so this is someone that you could be, uh, you know, could have some sort of history with for them to be familiar with your story. Uh, but someone also sees that you have been growing. Um, two of these cards are green and green does deal with, you know, that element of healing thyself. Um, that element, especially with the 444 here, it's like they see that you've really been um, working at a soul level to really heal uh, and to really, you know, Re, re, you know, recalibrate, um, or rejuvenate your spirit, I should say. And, you know, they see that you've been also very forgiving of, you know, your family or forgiving of those who may have wronged you or hurt you. Uh, they just see compassion. Uh, they may see you as an empath as well. So why is this seven personal growth four perseverance, 44 environment, 91 surrender here, for how this person Scorpio is attracting to them feels about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. And so it says forgiving and learning. What did I say about compassion? So this person knows that you are very compassionate, very caring. Um, it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that's why, you know, I feel like this person is attracted to you or drawn to you because they know that you have really um, been through uh, a great deal. Not only have you been through it, but you grew through a lot. Um, and this has made you someone uh, that's very strong that's very uh, wise they see you as someone uh, who's very nurturing and caring it's like it's you've turned your pain into power or you've transmuted uh, the pain that you were initially feeling and, and, and you're seen as very powerful or someone very masterful, um, very well learned or someone very well balanced, you know, in emotional and spiritual equilibrium. So it's like they see you as being spiritually awakened or spiritually strong. Um, and this is a very attractive energy. Uh, so what we have uh, on the bottom of the deck is separation here, and we're about to pull the card for what's hidden. So as I said, someone that you could be attracting uh, could be leaving a situation. Someone could be walking away, because with this seven, um, that is the chariot. Some of you all could be traveling. Um, maybe some of you all are taking a little trip for your solar returns, uh, you know, planning a trip, planning some sort of, you know, little escape or rendezvous. Um, but I definitely feel like there is this energy of like, you know, separation or being at a distance, not communicating with someone. There's no communication. And what it says is time apart from your partners on the horizon. So if someone is in a relationship or a partnership, I feel like they're starting to realize that, you know, they need to take a break from something uh, to focus on loving themselves because maybe they feel like, you know, they're overcompensating in a relationship or they're giving more than what they're receiving or they're not, you know, fulfilled. Um, they feel drained to some degree and they really just want to focus on themselves. Uh, someone could be stressing another person out. What we have here is DMX take control. So someone could be dealing with a dark energy, rising power to DMX. So DMX is an acronym for dark man X. So someone could be dealing with someone that has a dark spirit or someone who has had them in a very dark place. They could be growing through some sort of dark, like, you know, going through, excuse me, some sort of dark period in their life. And, you know, spirit is giving them this opportunity to really focus on loving themselves. 
um, because I do feel like there was a very controlling and manipulative, cunning energy uh, that someone could have been dealing with. And that's why they're making a decision to separate, to leave something behind. Um, yeah. So what we have right now playing is we have genius of love. So I do feel like, especially with genius of love, uh, someone is learning uh, to not only love themselves, love is an inside job, but this is also showing emotional intelligence. Uh, as I said, trusting their own intuition at 61 is the crown chakra as well. So that's what's leading. They're trusting their intuition. They're using discernment and their discernment and their higher self is telling them, love you. You can only love you. Don't be caught up in toxic relationships or don't get caught up in codependency where you feel like you're supposed to fill voids or someone is supposed to fill a void that's within you. That's an inside job. So with genius of love, I feel like someone becomes more uh, emotionally intelligent. Why is this 61 self-love here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Thank you, spirit. I hope it's not too loud. And it says romantic feelings. So when you love yourself, you start attracting what you are. Start to learn, you know, what your worth and value is. And you don't settle for less. You know, when you separate from, you know, the toxic energy and you really just, you know, channel all of that energy on loving yourself, you begin to learn what you require, what you desire in your partnerships. That's why some people, you know, especially... Uh, individuals that are toxic, that have, you know, some really codependent issues, they try to, you know, separate you from the people closest to you. Uh, they try to separate you from the things you love, your passions, uh, so that you could be their focal point and they could be your focal point. And sometimes it's not even reciprocated with your, their focal point. It's just, they want you to be so focused on them that you don't have any time to think about anything else or any time to be around anyone that you love. And that's really control issues. And that's why I feel like spirit was saying, you need to separate from something so that you can see from the outside in. And that's where you learn what your actual love language is. That's where you learn that it's important to not settle uh if this is not your energy this is someone else's energy who is really realizing like you know um this feeling this connection that they have with you is worth exploring maybe this is someone that you knew from your past that may have had other options in the past and because of that pride and that ego and that cockiness and that stubbornness and that hard-headedness. It's like they had to learn the hard way. Um, maybe someone chose an option that they thought was really good because it was shiny or the grass they thought was green on the other side only to find out that it was plastic. That's why it was shiny. Or they found out that that person that they thought was the ish was fake, you know? And so now they're revisiting uh, those romantic feelings that they may have had with you initially um, because they're realizing that it was actually genuine. Um, the connection you know, if this is a past person, because I'm also seeing like, you know, like the seven of cups with this as well. Uh, and that's why someone is realizing to focus in on self-love, not on so much external, externally, but on the self-love, uh, because too much attention sometimes, uh, you know, it isn't good. And, you know, giving your attention to everyone also is a sign that there's a lack of self-love. Everyone doesn't deserve your attention. Um, and because that's your energy, you know, um, where your attention goes, energy flows. So everyone doesn't deserve your attention. And that's what this person is realizing. But what they do also come to, um, realize is that, you know, these romantic feelings that they may have had for you, they haven't gone away. That's perhaps why, you know, this genius of love where now there's this emotional intelligence that's kind of developing in someone where they're starting to trust the feelings opposed to pushing them down and, you know, kind of suppressing it. It's like they're just kind of allowing it to happen. So that's beautiful. So what we have here is healing family issues. So not only are you healing family issues, perhaps someone else is also healing from family issues, um, traumas. Um, children could have been a factor. Someone's childhood, you know, uh, could have also been, you know, kind of like a roadblock. Uh, but let's tap in. Let's see. So why is six love 71 health 85? Follow your dreams here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. So this card fell on the floor and it says getting to know each other. So there's definitely this opportunity where you are going to start having some really uh, in-depth conversations and we have past life relationships. 
and I was picking up on that yin yang or picking up on someone that you're going to be acquainted with that's going to feel um, very familiar you know it's going to feel a lot you're going to feel the chemistry um, it says you have known each other before so whoever you're attracting is absolutely the yin to your yang yang to your yin a twin flame uh, if you want to call it that or cosmic companion a spiritual partnership nonetheless and i feel like you're going to become reacquainted you're getting to know one another because there's been a lot of change in both of you i feel and so it's like you have to reintroduce yourself and this time you're going to reintroduce your authentic self and not some representative it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this is about not coming in being um fake wearing a mask you know introducing your representative first it's like no come in and be your authentic self whether that be being vulnerable being you know compassionate not judging the situation um being very much opened and receptive because as you do that the more you will be rewarded and spirit is telling you like i said look what did i say about new love look at that this is a new love past life relationship new love i can't make this up so whoever this is this is someone that's going to be stirring uh your romantic feelings uh and there's going to be you know this feeling of uh like i said familiarity uh because there's going to be so many things that you and this person share uh in common with one another um so let's get some messages from the african-american tarot uh so look at that queen of pentacles you know, this is that very resourceful, very uh, grounded, stable, uh, self-sufficient, independent queen. You got the eight of pentacles. Someone is coming in because they want to work together. Um, this is two people that are building together. This is someone coming in intentionally. Uh, this is someone that definitely wants to collaborate because they see your worth. They see you as regal, royal. You could be independent, like you could be single, independent, you're attractive, you like the finer things in life, like you may have a beautiful home, you may know how to cook, you're domestic, but you also know how to handle business. You know, this is how someone sees you. This is also getting a lot of offerings, um, you know, whether that be business offerings, maybe you're investing your coins. I see the high priestess here, you know, so this is, you could be like someone who has divine wisdom, divine knowledge. Um, you can be someone who is a healer, a teacher, a shaman, a light worker. You may have a spiritual business. I definitely feel you're psychic. I also feel there are things hidden uh, that you may know about intuitively. Maybe you discovered some secrets that your ex, because we're about to clarify the overall energy. Remember, we have 48 uh, financial discipline, 37 time out, and we have release your ex here. So there could have been some secrets, some things uh, that you may have discovered or uncovered. Uh, because you're highly intuitive um, and because you also, you know, just kind of, you know, follow that gumption, you know, so let's tap in your intuition, your inner uh, wise dome. So let's tap in. So what is the overall energy? Why is this 48 financial discipline, 37 time out and release your ex here for our beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Let's cut the deck. Thank you, spirit. And we have uh, the prodigy, and this is called breathe. So you definitely um, are exhaling, I hear, from, you know, releasing this ex, you know, because I do feel like this person kept you in a perpetual state of confusion. I definitely feel like there was a lot of betrayal, but you are uh, healing and recovering, or you've healed, um, you know, past tense from this situation. Uh, because, you know, uh, you, you took the necessary time to really to, to ponder, to meditate, to get things straight. I feel like a lot of you may have taken on a hobby. Uh, you know, maybe yoga really was helpful. Maybe you started to really, uh, you know, do breathing techniques, sun gazing, getting out in nature, grounding yourself frequently. Um, and it really helped you, uh, to release this X, to let go, um, and, you know, the more that you uh, implement, to, you know, implemented those changes or the more that you practiced those things like exhaling, breathing, meditating, maybe you were listening to sound therapy or performing sound therapy for yourselves, doing tuning forks, singing bowls, banging your drums, your chimes, letting your chimes ring, whatever that was, blowing your flutes. It's like it really helped to uh, take you to a higher state of consciousness and you were able to really see 
your way clear um, and also take onus and accountability for things that you allowed you know ultimately um, because no one can do anything to you unless you allow it and taking onus allows for the healing to take place it allows for the self-love to take place it allows for you know you to come into that space of knowing yourself and setting those limits um or setting those boundaries i should say so that's beautiful so what we have here is the ace of pentacles you're being rewarded you're also, you know, coming into a time of receiving whatever you're working on, whatever you chose to really focus and hone your energy into. It's like spirit is saying that there is, you know, a reward, there's recognition, uh, spirit is repaying you, blessing you and giving you back, um, you know, tenfold uh, what you deserve. Um, this is answers, uh, to, you know, job applications, you know, this is receiving promotions. This is getting and booking, you know, um, you know, consultations for your business. This is your, you know, your sales increasing. This is you investing. Uh, this is someone investing in you. Um, this is, you know, business loans getting approved. This is new beginnings financially, windfalls of money. And this is coming straight from source. As I said, rewards, recognitions, blessings. Um, and this is because of your hard work, your determination, your drive. And this is really, uh, securing your future financially. So that's beautiful. So what we have here is the queen of wands. So we have this letting go of control issues, domestic harmony and 32, uh, which is music. And what's playing right now is steel pulse your house. So I do feel like with steel pulse, um, someone was definitely, uh, you know, just kind of like stern, was just like kind of cold because when you think of steel it's cold to the touch um that's the initially what i got uh but I, th this queen of wands although she's very attractive and beautiful um she's also can be very cold she can be very controlling um you know she could be very selfish me 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 i i i um wants things her way uh, if you look at her staff there's a snake there um, so this snake is very indicative of something changing. Um, it could represent a change for good or represent a change for bad, you know. Uh, but this is a shedding also because snakes represent the shedding that takes place as it grows. It has to shed its skin. So I feel someone is shedding something um, that no longer uh, serves them. Whatever you're attracting, whomever you're attracting. It's like that's perhaps another reason why this 46 is here because there's an ending of a partnership perhaps there is no happiness here or there is no longer any harmony there's nothing there to sustain this connection uh and it's because someone is controlling you know this queen of wands can be very controlling if you look there's a, a, a cat there cats are very impervious to threat so maybe someone is trusting their intuition because this 46 is one 32 is five and the song that's playing is your house so maybe someone's house uh, there could be a lot of lies. There could be a lot of deception. There's a lot going on that someone is unaware of, but their intuition is telling them it's time to, you know, um, exit stage left. It's time to let go of a situation that's keeping them, you know, bound and stuck and stagnant. And so with this queen of wands here, although this queen could be very attractive, because as I said, someone could have just got blinded by the light. Maybe someone saw something is just glistening and it was fool's gold, you know, uh, and, and it turned out to not be what they thought it was. Uh, this is a younger energy. So maybe someone was dealing with a very young, and immature energy and it just got tiring uh, but I do feel like with steel pulse um, that pulse is telling me that something really you know met its demise um, the heartbeat you were the heartbeat uh, and this situation definitely was not um, it wasn't worth uh, what I feel the stress that someone was experiencing uh, so their intuition is telling them to leave and even the fact that um, you know, cause this six that I'm getting is also like giving me the six of swords where someone is moving away, uh, to protect their peace, um, moving away to explore, uh, their own feelings and not be overburdened or, you know, controlled by this demanding energy, you know, cause this is, this could be very authoritative, uh, the queen of wands, um, 
and you know looks are not everything you know i know initially that's the hook is j the look but it is not enough to sustain a relationship and maybe that's what someone is coming to realize is um you know their house is is it's made of glass you know what i'm talking about so let's tap in so why is this 46 domestic harmony 32 music and let go of control issues here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them so what we have here is the page of swords so someone is definitely spying, watching you from a distance. They're ready and prepared to speak, to communicate, to express something. Um, but I feel like they first know that they have to walk. They have to cut something loose, cut someone free. Uh, what we have also is this Ace of Cups. So this is someone really uh, taking the necessary time to heal, uh, to grow. Um, and I feel like this is where uh, this aha this epiphany comes because water is it, it it recharges it revitalizes your batteries it purges you from you know just that stagnant and, and heavy energy and if someone was in um a toxic or volatile relationship because you could see here where this masculine is kind of like everyone's backs it's like they're kind of distant from one another so it's like there is this energy of someone being controlled and you can see the angels are you know kind of intervening here so that's the message the downloads i feel someone is getting is time to part ways and remember we saw you know separation that showed up at the bottom of the deck earlier so what they're going to do is express uh how they truly feel they could be spying on you um you know in the meantime and between time and you can see this person is wearing a mask you know, so they were wearing a mask in this relationship. Someone was not being their authentic self uh, in a relationship. And that's a part of, you know, when you meet someone, you put on this show, uh, you're, you're, you're presenting this representative of you instead of being your authentic self. And it's like a very immature energy because this page is very young minded, very immature. Uh, but someone is watching. Someone is definitely studying you from a distance. Uh, but also, perhaps what they're learning from you is what's encouraging and inspiring them to make some sort of change. Because now we have this Ace of Cups here where there's a great healing. Um, this is really new love coming in. This is spirit also saying someone is wanting to really uh, pour into you. Or there's a situation that's going to feel, uh, you know, very, very... Um, invigorating you know very refreshing you know I'm feeling as well um, someone really just expressing their love wanting to you know this is like their love is overpouring um, what we have here is the nine of cups and I did see that nine of cups earlier so they do see you as a wish fulfillment um, and you see that same snake that they have to get past uh, remember we saw that Queen of Wands so that same snake that was on that Queen of Wands wand is what this person is now finding themselves having to get past and the snake looks like she's trying to now uh attack you so this person sees you as a star sees you as that one sees you as that wish fulfillment because remember we have follow your dreams here for the outcome so this person now realizes uh you know that you are the one that got away um but there's something or someone that's trying to change the outcome the snake here is trying to change the outcome is trying to keep this person stagnant because I was feeling that energy that's why this let go of control issues because there there could be someone doing voodoo juju hoodoo uh, black magic there could be someone doing some sort of freezer spells dom um, d domination spells some sort of um, binding spells burying stuff doing honey jars whatever they're doing uh, to try to keep someone um, keep them put uh, what I see here, Stevie Wonder, all in love is fair. So this person that you're attracting to you, I feel like, you know, whoever they're dealing with, they feel like this is fair game because they love this person, but it really isn't love. Uh, when you have to go through those means and methods to, you know, take away someone's free liberties, someone's rights, when you're, you know, doing love spells to keep someone where they may not want to be, um, then that is not a fair game. Uh, so I do feel there's going to be karma uh, that someone will be paying for very shortly. What we have here is we have the Hierophant. 
So I do feel there's maturation and growth. I see someone also like offering marriage because this is really, um, you know, a card of someone who's really uh, been growing. I was picking up on maturation earlier and just building their, their, their wealth of knowledge under, you know, certain practitioners, healers, shamans, maybe matriarchs. And you can see here, someone is looking directly to the sun. Uh, which speaks to clarity, illumination, vitality, strength, uh, but the truth, you know, someone's allowing the truth uh, to set them free. So they receive the clarity uh, and they're going to move, um, you know, with, with the uh, action and with the intention of love, uh, with the intention of giving back. Someone is matured uh, from this negative and, and, and young, I'm getting a very immature person, earlier, you know, and I was also getting, uh, someone growing emotionally or, uh, maturing emotionally intelligent, emotionally intelligent because that, that genius of love played. So I do feel this is that same person here, uh, that you're attracting to. So with this nine of cups, we're about to pull the energy for how they feel about you. So why is seven personal growth for, uh, perseverance, 44 environment, 91, um, surrender and forgiving and learning here about how this person, our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them, feel about our beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. So they're observing you. Just as I said, this is the observer and you can see he's using his eyes to see his first eye. So that's intuition. That's gumption. They also feel you're highly intuitive that you are, you know, you speak energy, you know, that you're very sensitive to energy. You could be a scryer or a healer. They could see you as someone as a psychic, clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient. You could be a telepathic, but there's messages. It's like maybe they feel like you are, um, you could see through them as well. And there goes the nine of pentacles. You're definitely independent. They see you as independent, grounded, busy. It's like you worked very hard to rebuild, to restructure, to, you know, to, um, you know, to, to have this security. And we have uh, Jesse James. Someone's name could be Jesse or James. And this is called desires. So they do desire you. I told you they were very attracted to you. This is someone that has a lot of passion, a lot of lust, a lot of love. And I don't feel this is their driving force. I feel that this just, you know, it's, it's just um, a compliment to the other emotions that they feel because I feel there's a lot of stimulation. Um, it's like they see you as someone that's just uh, a gift, you know, an, an earth angel, very royal, regal, um, and someone who's grown, you know. Uh, the King of Pentacles is here. They're really uh, ready, willing, and able to be your support system, to invest. This is someone resourceful, practical. This is someone that has that Midas touch. This is someone that will be very intentional with their actions. This is someone that believes in, you know, the, um, you know, they believe in, 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 uh, the sanctity of, of marriage. You know, they believe in, you know, committing and, 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 um, and investing in a relationship. This is someone whose feelings are growing, you know, and they have their eye on you, as I said. I feel someone spies, someone watches you from a distance. This is someone that got their ish together. Financially, you know, this is someone that looks good. They like to look good, dress good. This is someone very grounded. And earth and water always is a very beautiful um, energy, you know. I don't want to say always, you know, because you have those uh, rare occurrences where it doesn't work. But earth and water really complement one another for the most part. I feel this person will be a hopeless romantic, or maybe that is your energy. And I feel like it's because you love yourself. That's why you're attracting this. Now that you know your worth, your value, you're attracting someone that's made in your likeness, someone that's going to appreciate and value you, someone that's going to nurture and, you know, um, nurture you, nurture this connection, support you, protect you, provide for you care for you, your children. Like this is a beautiful energy. I feel there's also abundance and stability, emotional and financial fulfillment and building a legacy, firm foundation with someone. Why is 61 self-love and romantic feelings here? So you have the king of wands, very passionate energy. This is someone coming in 
passionately, someone coming in intentionally. You may have a couple of people biting for your attention because you have the king of swords here as well. And there's a feather, so I do feel like, you know, your angels may be sending you some downloads. Pay attention to your dreams. Some of you could have found a white angel recently. I feel like you have someone that wants to express something to you, but they're not saying anything. It's just like they're watching you. Maybe this is that energy of that page of swords. They've matured. Remember, I was picking up someone emotionally uh, intelligent now. So if they were once in that energy where they couldn't emote or express their feelings, it's like now they've learned. Not only are they highly intelligent or they may be a wordsmith now, you know, but they're going to be very passionate. They're not afraid anymore um, to approach you, to express these romantic feelings, you know, and even to show you, you know, this King of Wands is, is very devoted. We have the Seven of Wands here. So I do get a sense of you being very guarded um, and just protecting yourself because of past experiences. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, spirit wants you to surrender and be more open and receptive because there are wish fulfillments and blessings coming in as well. And you don't want to block that. And I feel like the way you are or the way you've emerged after some sort of transformation and ending is like you won't fall into the same traps because you've learned to trust your own intuition, your own um, inner gumption, to trust your discernment. You know, so that's what the personal growth is about. Before you take action, it's like you have to be, uh, you have to feel, um, it has to sit right and feel right in your spirit, first and foremost. And with this desire, I do feel like you're attracting someone that has fire and desire. Um, someone's name could be, like I said, jo Jose, James. Um, I said Jesse earlier, so you could be dealing with someone named Jesse or Jessica, someone that has a J in their name. Someone could also be, um, as I'm getting with Jesse James, I was hearing fire and desire when I heard, said desire. And that is Rick James, and he's from Buffalo, New York. Some of you all really could like buffalo wings. Whoever this is, is someone that likes spicy food, or I'm hearing it's going to get spicy because this is someone that's definitely uh, attracted to you, perhaps. It's going to be really spicy. So let's tap in. Why is 6, love, 71, the 8 of um, uh, health, uh, 85, follow your dreams, and getting to know each other here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Spirit is telling me to also take this one in addition to uh, the cards that fell, and I'm going to do just that. And we have this knight of wands here on the bottom of the deck so definitely trust your intuition uh, because this knight of wands especially the way this knight of wands looks i feel this person could be coming in like you know this is a flighty type of energy someone that comes in really hot and heavy you know very lustful desiring you romantically um but not really having anything to offer and what that does is that has you uh stuck in two minds you know this could be a two-faced individual uh this is definitely non-committal this person could also have some sort of stds or vds so just be mindful because i see this energy as someone um who could be burning you know i'm hearing burning you know they think with their um you know, with the smaller head, so to speak, instead of the big head, you know, and this could have had their Johnson, you know, on fire. Remember, Brother Johnson was playing earlier. So someone's Johnson could be on fire. I definitely feel like even if this is a feminine energy, um, she could definitely not be clean. And this could have been someone um, younger. I'm getting that young energy I was picking up on earlier where someone was dealing with some young energy. Maybe someone caught some sort of VD or STD from someone. I don't know, but I, I, I'm picking up on that. Maybe that was someone's experience. So let's see what the cards are. So the Queen of Swords is typically the energy that Scorpios will, um, you know, kind of transform into after going through a tower moment or going through some sort of karmic completion. It's like you emerge uh, being more logical, not really using uh, your emotions to make decisions. It's like you're using logic now, head over heart. And as you can see, there's a smile on her 
face. So she is not, you know, uh, playing with anyone. She's willing to purge people, places, and things that no longer serve her highest good. I definitely see people coming to you now, um, seeking your advice. You could be seen as a wise soul. Maybe there's folks that look up to you because uh, you can see she's kind of looking up to this queen of swords. Uh, maybe there's people that you may be helping and healing. Uh, every great healer has to first heal themselves. So maybe you're opening up a spiritual business, spiritual practitioners. Maybe you have spiritual consultations that you provide um, and others are seeking advice or seeking some sort of um, uh, you know, information. I do see that this feminine energy is, you know, pregnant with child. So, you know, as I said, uh, someone could definitely, uh, be finding out about a pregnancy. Some truth could be coming out. Someone could be stressing out because they got some sort of, uh, you know, third party pregnant. Um, that could be for some of you all. Uh, but this is like, you know, this is the truth that sets you free um, because that's what's going to allow for you to release this ex. Um, we also have the two of wands. So these are decisions that are half, you know, that need to be made. And someone could really be kind of like mentally conflicted, um, trying to choose, trying to decide. And it's like, you really just have to take time, meditate to get it straight and not make any hasty decisions, not be bullheaded or stubborn, uh, but really choose the right course of action. There's a baby here. So I do feel like if someone was stuck between two people, people maybe someone feels stuck because they found out that someone is having their baby this person has a child and maybe there's a divine masculine that feels like they are stuck between a rock and a hard place because now they have um you know now they have this uh this child that bonds them to another person and you can see how he's agonizing and maybe this is because they were being bullheaded and stubborn and that's what landed them in the situation um the way he looks like he's in a whirlwind this could have been a spell you know maybe someone is going to a practitioner to get someone trapped this could be like you know that queen of swords also um that could be someone that's like giving them some sort of advice on how to keep another person Maybe this is someone telling someone to get some sort of DNA test to ensure that, you know, this child that this feminine is carrying is actually, uh, you know, a certain person's. Um, but maybe that's what the stress is because I was picking up like the eight of swords with this. And if you look at this, you know, masculine here, they look really stressed out. He looks like he's screaming in agony, you know, um, with the 71 health. You know, maybe they're really mad at the decisions they've made because maybe, you know, their heart is elsewhere, but now they feel stuck, you know, but uh, let's tap in. So we have the six of swords. So there is this element of like someone is following, um, you know, some sort of divine guidance uh, because they were dealing with someone who was a false person. This is a fake person. Whenever I see people in cloaks and hoods, I feel like that's someone hiding who they are. Um, this is someone wearing a mask and I feel like this person is no longer looking at them. They looking past them. So they have past this nonsense, this drama, and they are, you know, really focused in and honed in on really having victories. Now, um, they're moving out of, you know, the toxicity. You can see the swords have this person enslaved. So it's like, it's almost like this person now has freed themselves from this toxic situation. Maybe they've uncovered the fact that someone was like, doing some sort of um you know voodoo juju hoodoo if you look it's like someone is going under some sort of operation and it looks like they're working right where the heart is so i do feel like domination spells maybe someone is definitely um maybe that's the stomach that could even be the stomach you know maybe someone was feeding someone something like you know um feeding someone like witch's brew or making some sort of witch brew And what that is, is when, you know, that could be a female putting her, you know, her menstrual blood in food or a masculine would put their semen in the food. And it looks like, you know, maybe someone discovered that, you know, and maybe they, they, um, they sought some sort of help. Maybe that's what they were doing was they sought help or their intuition, like the angels stepped in. And protected them this is powerful next we have this is the um, this is temperance so it's all happening in divine time and good things take time to create so I am getting a sense of like you know something is taking its time to you know to work itself out and once you reach this place 
where you are feeling balanced or when this person is reaching this place where they're now in balance and in harmony because remember this two of wands you know th this is really like being stuck at a fork in the road or being stuck between a rock and a hard place um i do feel like they're finally seeing something very clearly and they're going to take action to create a safe space and i do feel like it's all a matter of divine timing the ten of swords is showing the deception the lies the betrayals that took place but there is you know an escape you know so it's like it's almost like this is the gift and the curse or this is some sort of like um this is the blessing in the listen in the lessons you know uh whatever betrayals led to uh, them being free, you know, because they were, I feel like they were in squalor. I also feel like this is like whatever spells they, they it's broken because this demon, whatever this demon is that swallowed them. Um, cause I was picking up someone eating something, you know, and it's like these spells are broken. The yokes are broken, you know, and you can see that there's help, you know, the angels stepped in to help, you know, and, and this also freed them. This is powerful. And we have the um, the page of wands here. See how this person is free, getting free from the snake? And remember the snake we kept seeing on that queen of uh, wands? So someone did get swallowed up by that snake. That snake did um, bite someone, you know, deceive someone. But this person is freeing themselves. You can see that like the angels, you know, they were definitely stuck in um, some sort of illusion because you can see the clouds are dissipating and that's thick clouds. So it was like whatever the snake, um, you know, because remember that snake was preventing them from reaching you um, on the nine of cups card. And it's like they have freed themselves because it, it looks like eventually um, that snake did uh, swallow them whole. But it's like the angels stepped in. You can see his wings. Looks like angel wings. The angels definitely stepped in. Uh, we have the ten of wands. So these tens are showing completions. Something's coming full circle. There's definitely completions, but every ending denotes a new beginning. Someone has become wiser. Owls always speak to wise dome. Some of you could be hearing owls at night. The hooting of owls. That could be one of the an, uh, the animal totems that you could be bumping into or hearing. And lastly, we have this page of pentacles. So there is a tangible offer. There is something new that's being presented to you, beloveds. So let's get some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So what do we have on the bottom of the deck? So we have, look at that, beautiful. It says, fiery wall of protection by Archangel Mikael. So you are absolutely divinely protected, beloveds. And I was feeling that your angels were conspiring behind the scene. We did see, um, you know, this 444 here. And so it says higher frequency. So you all have reached that level where you're not being, uh, you know, weighed down, boggled down by people's low vibration, by people's negative energy, uh, by people's, you know, um, toxicity. It's like you realize that where your attention goes, energy flows, and you're not giving people the time of day or the satisfaction to bring you down. It's like you're vibrating higher. And when you vibrate higher, you become more attractive and you start attracting what you desire. As I said, you all could be seeing a lot of angel numbers. Uh, you could be seeing 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, 666, et cetera, et cetera, 1111. Um, and we have heal thyself here that flew out as well. So there definitely was an element of you healing and growing and maturing and that's how you've made that you know uh determination to walk away from toxic relationships um and karmic circumstances uh someone that you're dealing with is now starting to have those same uh spiritual downloads or divine interventions because they are you know having a lot of uh, divine uh messages coming through um this is, could be your energy you could be starting you know to see these things more frequently or daily you may be seeing these things i'm seeing feathers so i absolutely feel some of you are finding feathers more frequently um so why is this uh 46 domestic harmony 32 music let go of control issues the page of swords the uh ace of uh, cups pardon me and the hierophant and it says show me 
So see that? So someone is not being shown uh, the love, the compassion in a connection that they may have um, gotten tricked into. It's like, you know, it started off real passionate, real fiery, real lustful, uh, and then it fizzled out. And I feel a lot of that has to do with the fact that someone was dealing with someone who was wearing a mask. It was a facade because this page of swords, not only is that showing there's a juvenile energy or younger energy, but it's also giving a sense that there was someone that was just wearing a mask and not being their authentic self. Um, this, uh, what is this? This 46, this 15 uh, that we're getting, that is the devil. Um, in traditional tarot. So I do feel like someone was dealing with codependencies or someone had addictions, afflictions. Someone could have definitely been dealing with someone who was doing that voodoo, juju, hoodoo on you do, um, or vice versa. Someone could be tapping, tampering into, you know, the arts, black magic, into the occult to try to control a situation. That's why it says let go of control issues because someone's trying to control something that's out of their control. And I feel like, you know, spirit sees all with show me. I feel like spirit has absolutely uh, revealed something to someone. I was saying some of you all could be healer, shamans, light workers. Perhaps someone is seeing you as such. Uh, your light shines bright. You're radiant. Your aura is very inviting. They see you as very grounded, balanced, and alignment. They see you as nurturing, loving, caring, kind, tender. Um, you know, just you have that that uh, very caring and nurturing energy that perhaps they may not have experienced in a relationship or connection that they may have pursued. And it's uh, very... Um, it's just almost very revealing. Um, but I do see here, uh, some of you all could have a calling, uh, to be healers, to be shamans, light workers. You may already have spiritual businesses or practices. Uh, you may perform spiritual consultations already and you are helping others. Cause I was getting a sense of people coming to you, seeking advice, uh, you providing advice or you being a leader or a boss of some sort and, um, others really coming to you, uh, getting that tutelage. So why is the seven personal growth here for perseverance, 44 environment, 91 surrender, forgiving and learning the observer and the nine of pentacles here uh, this person feels about our beloved scorpios and it says release so they do feel like you have let them go they feel like you have released them um that you have you know really let you know that you're no longer uh you know holding on to the connection or that you've walked away um someone is definitely coming into some sort of awareness they're having some sort of grand epiphany um but they do feel this void or they do feel uh, this absence, um, this separation. You know, like I said, uh, the lack of communicating is very deafening. Um, and how they feel about you is that you have somehow let go of them or let go of this connection. Maybe they feel they need to release you. Um, you know, they need to release you, release the control they think they have over you. Um, but there is this desire for you to forgive them. Um, they want you to show them compassion. Um, maybe they feel you've shown compassion. Uh, and that's why it was easier for you, you know, to release them because you've already forgiven them for things they may never have apologized for. And it says real isn't popular. Fake is in the maw of tricks. So, what this is saying is someone was definitely trapped in an illusion um, and real isn't popular. So you weren't the option that someone chose. I feel like there was definitely uh, abandonment here. Someone chose something else that appeared more attractive or shiny or, or newer. Um, and it was all based on superficialities. And with real isn't popular, I feel like now they're realizing that was the mistake that they made. And that's why they're really desiring your forgiveness um, and why they really feel like you've released them and let them go because they kind of rejected you. Um, but that rejection, as I said, was for your protection. Uh, because whoever this was, there was, I feel a lack of, compa of compatibility is like you both wanted two different things. And I still feel whoever this is was someone that was like, it's it just, they, they have player tendencies or the attention whores. Like they want to be a part of, you know, um, of everything. It's like, they just want to be 
out there partying and, and hitting the streets and you could be more of a homebody more of an introvert it's just i just feel different type of energy with the two of you but it's like you weren't focused on you know constantly being out there you may be very low-key um and that could be another thing that maybe the two of you differed is you know, maybe you were more low key, you weren't really as extroverted or that social butterfly. But when you got around people, you knew how to navigate and, and bob and weave in the conversations. So it's just like, you know, but whoever they dealt with, maybe this was candy, you know, like it was like they had that trophy on their arm because it was a younger energy. Uh, someone that was just like, you know, um, you know, sexy because that queen of wands did show up and that's usually a very attractive, younger uh, type of energy, but you've released this person released, um, you know, even the desire to reconcile what we have is protective bubble. Don't disturb this group. And that's exactly why time out is here because you did, you know, create a safe space for yourself. Um, especially after being betrayed, you was dealing with someone who definitely had a wandering eye, someone that likes a lot of attraction. Um, but I do feel, as I said, you may be coming off very guarded because you're loving yourself. You're being selfish now and you're loving yourself rightfully so. Um, and with this protective bubble, that's just what you've did. You've done is you've created that safe space for you. Uh, and I feel like that's why you got a couple of eyes on you because you know, you're, you're just focused more on loving you and, and taking care of you and mastering you know, whatever it is that you do. Uh, so why is 61 self-love, romantic feelings, the king of wands and the king of swords? Look at that. It says play a player from the Himalaya. So he was definitely dealing with someone that had player tendencies. Just as I said, that king of wand tends to be a player player because he has that wandering eye. He is very passionate, very lustful, very fiery. Um, but you also have your vulnerability is your superpower. So I feel like, you know, you healing and, you know, really grounding yourself, balancing yourself out, um, and discovering that you have that alchemical force to, you know, transmute that pain, turn it into power. Um, now you're being, you know, seen in a completely different light. Now you're triggering these romantic feelings in folks, uh, people that kind of like dismissed you in the past. I'm hearing dist and dismissed. Uh, so it's like, you know, they was going for, you know, what was popular, uh, what was getting a lot of attraction. Maybe they was, you know, going after the Instagram models or going after the girls with all the, you know, the, all the the glamour, all the makeup and the hair and the nails and, you know, it looks good. The aesthetic was very attractive, but once you took all of that off, it was, it was just nothing. It was just, it was nothing there to offer. And so that gets played out. Like I said, beauty, it could be that hook, but you need something that's going to sustain or to maintain the relationship. So I feel now after something has failed, it's like someone is now kind of looking back because what's hidden is I feel someone's watching you uh, secretly, you got that secret admirer uh, that is definitely spying. And what they're finding is that you have taken your power back. You have, you know, really tapped into your divinity as a divine feminine or divine masculine. And you have really uh, been building and growing and maturing. What we have here now is ready to love, opened to the new. And remember, we had new love. So I feel like that's your energy is now you have worked on yourself and healed yourself. You love yourself. You know yourself. So you know your worth. You know your value. You're not settling anymore. Now you're open and more receptive. You're willing now to surrender to love. And because you're open, you're going to attract people that are wanting to get to know you. Um, you're going to have people wanting to uh, exchange numbers, uh, exchange socials, uh, just to get well acquainted. Uh, so let's tap in. Why is the six love 71 health 85 follow your dreams getting to know each other the ace uh the queen of swords the ten of swords the page of wands the ten of wands the um six of swords the two of wands and the page of pentacles here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit and then we're gonna wrap it up thank you and it says power up, sunlight, clarity, illumination, and the moon. So we just had that Piscean moon. And it's, look at this. It says congratulations. 
you've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So now you have something beautiful coming in and it says you grew through your experiences. So whenever you get a congratulations from your spirit, your guides, it's showing that you have leveled up. It's showing that you have this clarity, this illumination. It's like you have definitely uh, reached that level of a deeper, more profound understanding of you. It's like you have uh, this sense of... Um, you know, the sense of truth now, um, and you're, you're speaking truth to, uh, to, to power, uh, more importantly, and whatever was hidden, it's like, you've discovered it all because you've absolutely faced your fears. You've absolutely leaned in your power. And now you're standing perpendicular in your square. And I feel for that you will be rewarded. I feel for that you will be celebrated even and even courted um so this is beautiful scorpio i definitely see there's some financial changes positive changes coming through i see that someone that may have taken you for granted or someone that didn't really see your worth and value is now seeing you know with your transformation and your growth uh, they're seeing, you know, perhaps what great of an option you are now. And not only are you, see they seeing it, but others are seeing it. I feel your angels are absolutely protecting you, but they're also aligning you with your purpose and with your person. And you may find that your person may also be very similar in what they desire out of life. Uh, there could be a lot of similarities and commonalities that the two of you will share. And I also see a lot of chemistry and a lot of synergy in the connection as well. But this reading is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely stay true to you. Do not let anyone talk you into doing anything that doesn't feel right or sit right in your spirit. Always trust your own intuition. You've come this far not to to fail, but to continue to thrive and grow. And I see marriage in your future. I see you coming into alignment with your soulmate. I see you being happier. I see business thriving. I see life improving for you. And I see a beautiful, beautiful new beginning for each and every one of you. So I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you would like to book a consultation, if this message resonated, definitely hit the link in the description box below. It will take you to my Etsy shop, peruse, check out my shop, see if there's anything that, that you will like. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Please note that this is a reciprocal, um, you know, uh, relationship here that we have, uh, YouTube requires, uh, your activity to get the videos into the algorithms. So not only you could discover it, but others can discover it. So I do ask that if you rock with me, if you enjoy what I do, if you enjoy the readings, if the readings ever resonated with you, please take the time to hit the subscription box. Uh, definitely like the video and share, uh, the video, you know, let's help grow the channel. I've been stuck here at 10, thousand subscribers for a few months now um and so let's try to you know grow the channel let's get the messages out there i do take time to give you deep in-depth clear and concise messages and i just would love for the love that i show y'all to be reciprocated so i digress i thank you all for tuning and tapping in until next time thank you so much uh for your patience with me and uh see you on the other side peace